everybody! Welcome back to a very special How To Tuesday. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of me teaching you how to do something new, I'm going to show you guys one of our very favorite books that we'd like to share with you this holiday season. I'm going to read to you Be Rocks the Flock by Victoria Jameson. B wanted to be a good sheep, but she had a hard time following the rule of sheepdom. Sheep are not unique. Flossie fretted when she showed her true colors. You'll get in trouble, Bee. Try to blend in, Bee. Mossy got miffed when Bee danced to the beat of her own drum. And Jean was just plain bossy when Bee broke the rules. You've got a bad attitude, Bee. I've had enough of this, shouted Bee. If I'm so bad at being a sheep, maybe I should just leave. With a sniff and a snort, Bee packed her backpack and said farewell to the flock. She packed two peanut butter and daisy sandwiches, Dr. Mouton's wool dye rainbow pack, all-purpose yarn, a comb for bad hair days, a photo of the flock at the annual spring fling portrait, her lucky needles, and a pair of pinking shears. I will miss you all terribly, called B. But since I am not appreciated here, I will start a new life for myself in the big city. And off she went. Great clanging cowbells, shouted B, as she zoomed down the city street. Everyone looked different, and no one was doing anything the same way. This is where I belong. First, B did some sightseeing. She went to the Statue of Liberty. She went to a baseball game. She even strutted down the street in her I Love You York t-shirt. But she couldn't be a tourist forever. If she wasn't going to be a sheep anymore, then what could she be? Aha! I got it! She pulled out some yarn and got to work. By morning, she was ready to start her no-rules-following, free-as-can-be life. Looks as though she's gone to the park. Wait a minute. Do you see that? B is in a tree. With her backpack, no less. But B's new life was not as carefree as she had expected. Oh no, look, the squirrels got her. She's tied up in a kite. The children think she's the piñata. This is not going well. She needed a new plan. Hanging around in the sky was boring. Where was the most interesting place in the whole city? Eureka! I got it! Bee shouted. Bee snatched the pinking shears and comb from her backpack and got to work. By morning, she was ready to start her new, chock-full-of-stories, interesting life. Oh, wait a minute. Is Bee in front of the museum? Next to the lion. She's just crazy. But her new and interesting life was a little, well, too interesting. Even the most interesting places were lonely without friends. What I need is a new flock of glamorous city friends, Bee thought. Gansooks! I got it! She yanked the pink dye out of her backpack and got to work. By morning, she was ready to start her new life with a flock of big city friends. Wait a minute. She is in a dog show, but she is not a dog. Crazy bee. But her big city friends turned out to be big pains in the neck. Her friends on the farm may have been fussy, picky, and bossy, but bee missed them. Oh, what should I do? Pardon me, called the judge. The results are in. You have been voted most unique dog. Uh, uh, I, I mean sheep. Yeah, sheep. B could not believe her ears. If she could be a sheep and be unique, maybe the rule of sheepdom was wrong. Goodbye, big city, she called. You are interesting and fun and exciting, but so am I. And I'm not afraid to show it anymore. Nothing in the big city made Bee as happy as seeing her flock again. 
It was so quiet when you were gone, said Flossie. Things were boring without you, said Mossy. Even Jean was happy to admit that Bee was home. You certainly are one of a kind, Jean grumbled, but I guess you're one of our kind, because our flock is not a family without you. That makes us one big kind of a family, doesn't it, said Bee. Isn't there something unique you've always wanted to be? I'd like to start an organic daisy farm. I've always wanted to open a painting school, said Mossy. You mean I can finally become a country western singer, shouted Jean. Being one of a kind is fabulous. Together, the flock voted on a new rule of sheepdom. Be yourself. The end.